A humorous end-of-year production called A Merry Little Christmas will be staged at the Market Theatre. It will premiere at the John Gunny stage. Now, this play, which stars actors including Kim Kluter, Anthony Coleman, Zolane Shangase and James Borthwick, is set on an unnamed golf estate on the north-west side of Johannesburg. Playwright and artistic director of the Market Theatre, Greg Homan, joins us now to tell us more. Greg, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, we're in, right in the middle of, of uh, well, getting started with the festive season. And, of course, uh, what better way to, to celebrate uh, the festive break but, uh, you know, through, through the arts. Um, talk to us about this uh, exciting play, uh, The Stars Have Indeed Come Together and Align for a Christmas-Spirited Play. What is it about? Yes, um, thank you. It's great to be with you this morning. Um, it's a wonderful end of the year, laugh a minute offering at the Market Theatre. Um, it's a brand new South African play, um, which I actually wrote um, during the, the pandemic. It was commissioned by How Now Brown Cow Productions during the pandemic. Um, and it's, it's loosely based on my own family dynamics. Um, and it's really about uh, a middle-aged man, he's, he's 44 and three quarters, and he <laughs> is trying to propose to his, his girlfriend on Christmas morning. And so it's uh, uh, really about two families coming together who don't know each other from very different parts of Johannesburg and kind of different cultural backgrounds, coming together on what is supposed to be the happiest day of the year um, to, to witness this proposal that is going to take place. Um, and, and, and so it's a play about kind of culture and about um, how we come together on this, on this, this festive day and, and really about family dynamics. And so it's been really well received. We opened it on Sunday at the Market Theatre to a packed house of 450 people. And the response has really been fantastic. Uh, lots of laughs, um, lots of recognition of, of families and family dynamics. And, and it's just a really great way, I think, to end the year at the Market Theatre I mean, in, a, in, a, in a festive, fun-filled production like this, and a brand new South African comedy. How much of your real-life situations and experiences influenced uh, some of, you know, some parts of this play? I mean, my family would have to answer that, I suppose. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> no, um, it, it, quite a lot, quite honestly. Um, look, I've taken a lot of creative license in, in the, you know, but the dynamics in, of the family are very similar to, to mine. There's a character that's loosely based, I suppose, on me. Um, my father and my mother and my stepmother are, are very kind of, the dynamics of that are very close in the play. But then there's also a huge amount of creative license, and there's a lot of mud muddying of, of, of events and I encounters that have happened over many, many Christmases and, and, and family get-togethers. And I think that's the joy of the piece for so many audiences, is that, you know, we, we all think our families are a little bit crazy and a little bit mad, and, and they most probably all are. But, but actually, we share more in common around those things. And so the, the plays, I think, very validating for an audience because they, they, they see what's up there and they go, oh, this dynamic's not that different to, to the kind of pressure we feel when we come together for these family events and family festivities with a, a very kind of strict script that tells us, oh, this is what we have to have. We have to have you know, hot piping turkey in 45 degree heat in the middle of Johannesburg mm. um, in summer, which is like, you know, a tradition that belongs to another place. You put fake snow on windows. And, and, and I suppose marriage in some ways is also a little bit like that, is that we have this, this pressure to get married at a certain age or to have a family or to, to make a family um, and all of that. And so the play is really about questioning all of those things. Um, but it's quite, closely, it's quite closely based on my family, although with a lot of creative license mixed in. Yeah. With all the creati uh, creative license and, of course, uh, creativity, you needed to ensure that you had the right team, the right actors and actresses who come together. Talk to us about, uh, you know, the selection process, what you had to consider, and uh, how you, you got to this cast. Yes. So, I mean, firstly, it was about who to choose to direct it. And um, although it was an option for me to do that, um, we opted to go with Charmaine Weir-Smith, who is you know, a brilliant, award-winning director, um, and, 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 and very, she's great with comedy. And so she's done a remarkable job and an excellent job in pulling together a brilliant cast. Um, I mean, the cast include Ilse Klink, Anthony Coleman, Kim Clutty, James Borthwick, 
Zolani Shangaze, um, uh, Rob, Roberta Pombo, uh, uh, Louise and Claire, Trevor Lynch. Um, I mean, it, I'm sure I've just probably left someone out, but it is a, a really brilliant cast that's well known for both their theatre work as well as a lot of TV and film work. And so they, they bring a real wealth of experience onto the John Carney stage. And this kind of play, because it's, you know, comedy, comedy is tough. Comedy needs real, like, mus, you know, muscular kind of energy and, and vocal energy to be able to deliver it and to be able to deliver it above large rolling laughs from the audience. And this cast just nail it out the park. I mean, or, or bash it out the park. But they're really, they're really fantastic. And, it's a joy to see the words that I wrote and, 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 and the play come to life um, in such a, a brilliant way, held by really a great cast. And the joy of seeing nine cast members of that caliber on a stage in South Africa, sadly, is a rare occurrence. Mm. And so, so that is also a real draw card for, for, for an audience. And, and, and an audience are really loving seeing, seeing the dynamics of a big cast play out um, in, in this way. And in terms of suitability, is it a, um, you know, a, a production that uh, one can bring with the entire family to come watch it? Or are there certain age restrictions? What sort of crowd are, are you looking to entertain? And also just uh, give us uh, some of the reasons why you think we should all come out and, and watch it. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it does have a little bit of adult humor and innuendo. For, for, many, for many younger audiences, that we must probably go over their heads. But the ideal audience for this is is families and friends who are looking for an end of the year experience as a group or as a, as, as a family. Um, with I mean I, I would say you know PG thirteen is probably a good guide on this. Um, I, you know although some of the adult humour will and innuendo as I say will go over people's heads. But it's really a family offering for for for, for families with teenagers um, or couples who are looking to go out over Christmas or leading up to the fest across the festive season with their friends and 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 you know wonderful to find an end of the year book clubs and and groups that are just looking for a fun night out and we've had we've had a church group here um last week who had a great time with us um and and, and it, yeah so I, I think anyone can kind of relate but generally it's 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 for, for groups and families who are looking for an end of the year family offering in johannesburg yeah so it opened on the 29th of november when is it set to to close yeah, so we're running all the way to the 24th of, of December, and um, the market data hasn't done that for quite a long time. We've generally been, been, been closing around the 15th. I'm very pleased to say that the bookings around uh, the Christmas weekend are really starting to look very nice. So, um, you know, it, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, if people are staying in Johannesburg, if they're not going away, if they're not going on holidays or going back to their families in other parts of the country, um, then it's a, a, a great way of kind of lifting your spirits and just having a fun time leading into uh, the Christmas weekend and the festivities that are part of our, our, our summer terrain here. Very well. Thank you so much, uh, playwright and artistic director at the Market Theatre, Greg Homan, talking to us there about uh, a Merry Little Christmas, which uh, is com commissioned by, by the theatre, uh, showcasing up until the 24th of December.